All right, guys, I'm going to show you something from the lapel guard called the orbit sweep. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the lapel guard, also known as the galaxy guard. Um, actually, they're not one and the same. Lapel guard and galaxy guard are a little different. So we're going to talk about the lapel, the lapel guard today, which involves a lot of tying your own foot up in the gi. So first things first, we need to get his lapel out of his gi. If the match starts standing and you want to get into lapel guard, and his gi is tied up and he has his hands in front of him, it's going to be hard to reach in. If we just grab the collar, it may not open up his gi completely. So what I like to do is reach with my, far, my nearest hand, turn my hand, and throw his gi open just once. Just one tap, quick open, it opens it up just enough. So now when I get the low grip, I can pull off that grip. Okay? Once I get this grip here, I grab it like a rope, low at the bottom of the gi. Okay? I wrap my hands tight around there, I get both hands on it like a baseball grip. I put my foot in the hip to stretch him away and pull his gi out as far as I can. Then from here, I'm going to put my right foot in the shoulder and my left foot on the other side, on his elbow, okay? Now my legs are just straight here. This is a very strong position to avoid getting past. If he tries to throw my legs by, his gi gets in the way and I'll be able to recover back this way. If he tries to throw the legs to the other side like a leg drag, my, his gi stops it as well, okay? But we don't just want to stay here. We're going to want to attack with this, okay? So this is just our starting position. We're getting to our grips, and then we're going to switch the, so we have our baseball guard, we're going to let go of my right hand. The original hand that grabbed, my other hand grabs on top, I let go, and I'm going to reach to underhook this near leg close to me, okay? When I pull him into me, that leg is always going to step forward, because if he steps with the other foot forward, go ahead and step, switch your feet to the other foot forward, it makes it really awkward for him, and I can easily pull him towards me, okay? So he's always going to lead with that leg forward. When I reach, I switch my hands, I reach, and I shoot my leg past his arm through as deep as I can. Once it's here, I'm going to pass the lapel to my hand that I just underhooked with my, my thumb in towards him. I don't want to have my thumb pointed out like this. Okay, thumb in towards him. And if his hand stays in here, I wrap it over his hand. That doesn't always happen. If his hand is out, that's fine too. Okay, once I'm here, I actually want to reset my position and turn into him again. This hand's not doing anything. We always want our hand to be doing something so we can grab the collar here, here, or we can grab the sleeve. I like to grab the sleeve just because it leaves open triangle opportunities if he starts to slack. Um, but if you like the collar control, you want to break his posture more, you can do that as well. Once I'm here, my next attack is going to be spinning under and looking for the sweep. Okay, I'm going to spin under almost to a 50-50 posi position, but it's not 50-50, okay? Now watch closely. A lot of people make the mistake when they spin under here, they leave their head on the outside. That's not what I want. I actually want my head to come inside his leg, okay? So when I do that, I need to make sure that there's space here in between my, my hip and his foot, okay? So when I grip, you don't have to maintain the grip on the sleeve, you don't have to keep this, you can start here, I swing my leg around like a pendulum, okay? See how my right foot turns inside this gi here? That's very important that there's space for my right foot to turn. I swing around, go inverted, okay? Well, as I go inverted, my left leg shoots through, okay? all the way into like a leg weak position. So turn this way a little bit. Now watch his uh, right hip right here. Watch what happens when my foot comes through. Here, my foot shoots through to the right hip. I maintain control on the gi. All right, now my hip is blocking his left foot from being able to step back. When I turn my body and rock his weight backwards, this foot's not able to step back, which allows me to sweep. Now I didn't put him in 50-50 because I, once I swept him, I don't want to be stuck in 50-50. If I put him in 50-50, he'll lock me up in 50-50, and now it's going to be hard for me to come on top. He can come back on top, and now we're just stuck here. So I leave my foot across. I let go of the lapel, and I immediately sit up to the collar. From here, I do the proper way to get up, and I start into my leg drag position to finish the sweep. Okay? So it's very important we don't put him in 50-50. So fast speed, this is what it's going to look like. I get the grip, foot in the hip, underhook the leg, grab the lapel, turn back into him, reset my position, get control. Now, I'm gonna wing, wing my leg around like a pendulum, shoot the leg through, tilt him over, proper way to get up, grab the lapel and go into the leg back. It's one of the most basic attacks from the lapel guard, um, spinning under into like a 50-50 sweep. 